What's up, everyone? I'm Nick Marty for AfterBuzz TV's Mini Spotlight, and we have Mary Mauser from Cobra Kai. Stay tuned. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, AfterBuzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. What's up, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in. Mary, how are you? I'm great. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> well, I will tell you, we've been having a ton of fun before we even started filming. It has been a process, but it has been a good time. It's but great. thank you for being here. Really happy to have you. Thank you so much. Now, Cobra Kai, you know, right off the bat, Huge legendary, you know, karate kid. And with Jaden Smith. First, you know, first question I gotta ask, Jaden Smith, Daniel LaRusso. Which one? I mean, I'm Samantha LaRusso, so I gotta say Daniel LaRusso, of course. Well, you know, which one was more relevant in your lifetime? I actually never saw the Jaden Smith version, before, like, prior to ever seeing yeah. the, like, the older version. Because my thing was, I was like, I don't want to watch a new version of a movie until I've seen the old version of the movie and I have something to like reference. Mm -hmm. So it was always one of those things of like, I hadn't seen the original version. I was waiting to watch the original version with my boyfriend who like is a huge fan of the Karate Kid yeah. series. So he was like, we're going to watch them together. And then I figured I'd watch the Jaden Smith version later. Then my audition came around. <laughs> and then I was like, I've got to watch the original version like right now. But then I was too nervous. So I waited until I actually booked it to watch the whole series. Really? Of You're like, yeah. Because you did, did you think it was jinxing it almost? It was more that it was like, yeah, I mean, it was a thing of like, it's too cool. Like, it's so cool. And I already knew that in my head. I was like, this is a thing that's legendary to yeah. like, so many people. I was like, but like, you know, I'll, I'll do my own thing and like, you know, it's totally different. Like, maybe it's not even like, you know, that that big of a deal. Knowing in my head that was a total lie. But like, <laughs> it like, you know, made me feel a little better about it. And then once I'd watch it, I was glad I did it the way I did because once I'd watch it, I was just like hyperventilating the whole time. I was like, yeah. oh my God, it was like, that's my dad. You know, that's my dad now. <laughs> that's like, my that's my like, dad. Yeah, like, that's like my family's history. Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. like, you know what I mean? It was like, it was cool watching it from that perspective. Did you watch one, two, and three? I did, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Back to back? I did, yeah. One day. I did. Knocked yep. them all out of the I binge I watched him with my boyfriend, and then I've watched him too many times to count since then. I actually really? became kind of an instant fan girl. Now, <laughs> is it in your top five favorite movies now? Yes. Really? Yes. Just I mean, because, or do you think it would have been anyway had you just seen it? I think it would have been anyway, and I've said this, like, I think no matter what point in my life I watched that movie, I feel like I would have yeah. been able to relate to it, because uh -huh. I think that's kind of one of the beauties of that movie, of that series of films, is that it connects to you and in so many different ways and in so many different parts of your life you can connect to a different character a different yeah. aspect of that struggle of you know of coming of age and then of of your relationships with parents or lack thereof or what you know what i mean i feel like yeah. there's like so many like things to connect to and so i feel like no matter when i'd watched it would have meant a lot to me but it I, you know of course means even more knowing that i get to like be a part of that you know what i mean and you are part of the family now now how <laughs> was it you know meeting the original cast some of them <laughs> so nerve-wracking. I actually met them um, before I had watched all the movies because I, I had met Ralph and Billy um, mm -hmm. at the last, like, final callback. Um, and it was incredibly nerve-wracking, but they were so nice. Like, both of them just so nice. Yeah. And I remember I had booked it, and I went back for one more, not audition for mine, I had officially booked the role, but it was to chemistry read with with two of the of the guys who were auditioning for Miguel. Yeah. Um, one being Sholo, who actually ended up getting the role, who, like... We like instantly just hit it off and like we had you know close friendship and it was like it was really fun. Uh, but he walked out and I remember being like sweating because I was like now it's official. <laughs> like now like that like I'm his new TV daughter. I was like what is he gonna say? And he came yeah. out and gave me a big hug and like congratulated me and I was like I like cried inside and definitely cried when I got home. <laughs> You're like thank you so much. I'm gonna watch the movie now. Yeah, I will. I didn't say anything <laughs> until later. I was like so by the way. <laughs> So I hadn't seen it yet. Yeah. But uh, but no, like I said, I feel like I feel like I was glad I watched it in the way that I did, and it definitely did make me like freak out. We have some of the original like OG cast members like in the show yeah. that are kind of like mixed in there, um, which was incredibly exciting for people who've seen it. Like Randy Heller, who played um, his mom in the original movie, mm -hmm. obviously my grandma now. Like that's the craziest <laughs> thing in the in the yeah. world. Like those little like moments, you know, that moment where they're pushing the car and all this stuff. It's just I don't know. It's just so cool, like getting to like to meet her and like to me like that was just like another layer to that like legendary like. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's part of the whole franchise. Yeah, exactly. And what, you know, wax on, wax off, what are some of the things that are still taking place or carrying on over to this new legacy? There are a lot of them. There are a lot. There are a lot. The, the writers, the creators of the show were big fans of the movie. Yeah. I mean, they're like uber fans. Uh -huh. They created this whole movie, this whole series, you know what I mean? Of, of just like their own, they, they call it their own like fan fiction. Yeah. So they stayed as true as they could, I feel like, to 
the things that they knew that they would want to see as a fan on a show. So there's lots of little like little like uh, things mixed in there throughout there. You hear you hear the original story of of uh, Daniel and Johnny meeting from Johnny's perspective, which I thought was so cool. Yeah. Because. It's a totally different story, totally inaccurate, but like totally different story. Um, but no, there's like there's little bits and pieces in there that are just that were really cool to see. Um, that definitely like fans I think will love. I, I actually myself got to do wax on wax off, so that oh, was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> were you like, let me get this right? Yeah, I was like, Ralph, you want to tutor me? I'm like. <laughs> did you actually get angry like he did in the beginning too? Because um, he it took him a while to learn the meaning of it. Is that that carries on over as well? The idea is Samantha um, actually started learning I think at a very young age, and she learned all the way up through about the age of eight. Yeah. Um, and she she's kind of like a karate like little superstar. Um, not in my level, obviously, because I'm so uncoordinated I can't walk in a straight line. Um, but she's really cool. <laughs> uh, Samantha's awesome. No, but um, but I, I I think she kind of had that already in her, and there's this like moment where she becomes really heated and it just comes out. Yeah. And, like, it was so like for me super nerve wracking because I was like I'm taking on like a very important like moment right now. But it was so much fun to like think like this is like this is the move. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know, it was cool for me. Now tell me a little bit about the storyline if you can. Yes, um, it's the so most, it, for the most part. Yeah, it takes place um, 34 years after the original um, movies, the original Karate Kids, uh, and it picks up kind of where they would be now, and, like yeah. what their lives would be like now. So Daniel Russo is like an auto tycoon, I guess. I don't know what the phrasing of that is, but like it's he, true. Like, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I, he, yeah. So he owns like a, a, a car dealership, and he's like super successful. He has this wonderful life. He has two children who adore him, and his wife, who you know, is just the best the actress who plays uh, Amanda LaRusso is like she's awesome and her character is amazing I loved it um, and then it kind of shows the contrast of that more so from Johnny's perspective because you see kind of it's it's Cobra Kai now so it's yeah. Johnny's show and it kind of like shows where he is now and what that what the bully kind of who was had everything in Daniel's mind back in the day yeah. where he is now and he's kind of a loser to start it's out with. Kind of like high school. The exactly, TVs. right? Like, yeah, no, it's, it's like when you check back in on the people that you went to high school with on yeah. Facebook and you're like, wow, like that's all they're doing? <laughs> like, I feel so much better about myself. Well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? No, but it's, it's really interesting because it's like, you know, you, you actually like, humanize him and you yeah. feel for Johnny who was like this this stereotypical bully, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he was like the bully and that was, he played that so well that now like seeing it from this other perspective, it's like you question yourself, you're like, wait a minute, like I kind of want to root for him a little bit, which yeah. is, is really disorienting, but they did it in a really amazing way. Did you hear about any of the other storylines that almost took place? Because sometimes I, there's always several storylines that they pitch, right? Right. So I, were there any I others? think that for this one, they kind of came in, and from every story I've heard, they came in strong with like, "This is our mission." Mm -hmm. But I know that like you know, um, Ralph and Billy have talked about how how many times people over the years have come to them with this idea of like, "We're gonna take on the Karate Kid again," and like they've always come with these ideas True, that like, just didn't feel right because yeah. they were like, you know, no, like Ralph's thing is always like he always wanted. He told me at least he always wanted to like leave it, you know, what it was that it was, you know, leave the legacy as it was. Um, but then the guys who came in, their names are Josh, John, and Hayden, they're the coolest, I adore them. And they came in with this idea of, you know, Cobra Kai. Yeah. And I think it was, it just, it fit, it clicked. Um, I haven't really heard any of the other things. I know I was supposed to have a little sister at one point, and now I don't, so that's about all I know about, uh, <laughs> I don't? about all the things that got cut <laughs> out. taken away. Uh, no, I have a little brother, though, in the show, and he's, he's really cool. The actor's name is Griffin, he's awesome. <laughs> Hi, Griffin. <laughs> now, to make a bad thing good, mm -hmm. you said that you have type 1 diabetes. Yes. So you do, when your blood uh, levels drop, you have to uh, eat, eat to snacks. Bring up, yeah, yeah, eat. Yeah. Now, you're at Crafty a lot. Yes. Kind of like you're saying, it's like kind of like we're laughing at it. It is kind of sad, you know, like... No, no, it's complicated, feel, and it's, it's yeah. definitely like, I would never, you know... If I had the option, I would not have picked type 1 diabetes, but at the same time... <laughs> I am very grateful for all the lessons that it's taught me. I was diagnosed when I was 13, um, and it's definitely made me the person I am today. Yeah. I'm grateful for it in that way, and I'm grateful for the connections with people I've been able to make. I got to go and speak to Congress and like ask them to continue funding for diabetes That's research. That's a big deal. It was so cool. <laughs> yeah, I got to go yeah, speak yeah. to congressmen and like go to Congress and like met over a hundred kids with with type one also, and they were between ages four and 17. And it was, you know, what I mean, I feel like I've had so many amazing opportunities because of of my diagnosis but but the one cool thing that i feel like is for all the stuff that i'm like ugh like i have to prick my finger all day i have to like you know all these things 
the cool thing is like the lights on set bring my blood sugar down. Like the hotter I get, it brings my blood sugar down. So my excuse is that I'm really hot. I'm like, my sugar's going down. I have to go to Crafty. I just like have to. I don't have a choice. You yeah, know? yeah. So I just end up over at the craft table, like eating all the cookies. For me right now, I'm boiling, <laughs> but that doesn't mean I get snacks. I mean, you know, like that I said. That doesn't mean stop. It's one, it's, one of the, it's one of the perks, you know? Well, what was one of your favorite things to eat on set at Crafty? I remember, I had, okay, so I have a scene where I was wearing a bathing suit and they ended up doing it like I had a t-shirt on over it and everything. But obviously, I'm a young girl, I know any other young girl has this part of you where you're like, but like, there's cameras, and they're gonna be looking at me from all yeah. angles, and like, I like me, but like, what if somebody else doesn't? So like, there's like I'm a part of me where I'm like, yeah. yeah, so like, I'm like freaking out. And so like, a part of me was like, so <laughs> the other girl on the show, um, two of the other actresses also had to wear bathing suits that day, they're like, okay, the best thing you can eat is bananas, apparently. Like, these, that's the thing you can eat when you're supposed to be having a bathing suit scene. So we were just over at the craft table eating bananas and chewing gum. Like, that was our day <laughs> for that scene. But no, mostly like, anything pumpkin spice flavor. We were filming during the fall, and I love pumpkin spice. Uh, Ah. And the crafty was stocked, like pumpkin spice caramel, pumpkin spice coffee, pumpkin spice scones, like pumpkin spice, like monkey bread. Oh my god, it was so good. Did y'all <laughs> shoot near Halloween time? We did, yeah. So did everyone come to set dressed as Daniel Wood or so? <laughs> I was thinking I at like least someone happened. would, and no. But they did have a little costume competition, and um, and the group that won was uh, transportation, the transportation department. They came all dressed as different characters from The Shining, and it looked so cool, like so cool. They went out of their way yeah. to oh, win yeah. that competition. Oh yeah, because I feel like also, I came dressed as Tinkerbell. Uh, my boyfriend was Peter Pan. <laughs> he was visiting at the time. He looked cute. He looked so cute, I loved it. Um, um, but no, it was I. I, I uh, love Halloween, so everybody getting all dressed up was like totally my jam. I actually filmed the wax on wax off scene on Halloween. Oh so really? I was like, good luck for me. Like that's the way I'm gonna think of it. <laughs> well, that's awesome. <laughs> and now, what do we have coming next? You just said that. Well, it was announced that season two will be happening. So that's yes. amazing. Congratulations. Thank you so much. What else do we have in the works until then? Until you start shooting that? Uh, you know, I'm kind of. Uh, looking around, figuring things out. But I do have uh, an episode I filmed of a show called Room 104 that's on HBO um, that I loved. It was something totally different and like a character I've never played and kind of like weird and dark but funny and quirky and like all this all over the place. Um, and uh, hopefully that'll be out very soon. Well, we'll look forward to watching it. And now, where can we find you on social media? Where your boyfriend usually runs all your social media. Yeah, no, my boyfriend just like checks in on it. He's like, "Wow, you're this many followers." I'm like, "Don't make me nervous." Where can we like find that your many people. Accounts that yeah, are yours. Right. Um, okay. My my Instagram is at Miss Mary M Mauser, um, the middle initial, and then uh, my Twitter is at Mary M Mauser. And I think that's just about all I'm good at keeping up with. It's like two maximum. That's all I can that's handle. About, let's not get crazy, <laughs> yeah. folks. You don't have an actor page for Facebook or anything like that? Uh, oh, yeah. I have Facebook.com. I think it's slash Mary M. Mauser, I want to say. I also haven't kept up with that too well. But so I'll try I and be better, okay? I that you most likely keep up to date your Instagram, then. Yes. <laughs> like, it's, my, it's my Instagram. My Instagram's like the main one. It's just mostly pictures of my dog. But, like, I love my dog, so. And <laughs> you, you think that your dog is the cutest? Oh, my dog is the cutest. I, I don't even think cutest. that. That's I'm like 100% convinced. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for being here at Thanks. After Buzz. We appreciate it and had a great time. No, thank you so much for having me. And I'm Nick Marty. Take care. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire After Buzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the After Buzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you, you later. later.